Howdy, folks. Welcome back to channel. Today, we're saddling up for a journey through the dusty trails and sweeping landscapes of Paradise, the classic Western series that graced our screens from 1988 to 1991. Paradise, 1988 to 1991. This is an American Western family television series that aired on CBS. It follows the adventures of the Beckett family as they try to make a new life in the fictional town of Paradise, California, during the late 19th century. Join us as we embark on a, then and now, exploration of the beloved actors who brought the town of Paradise to life. Now, who could forget the faces that made Paradise a place we all wanted to visit? From the rugged charm of Ethan Allen Cord to the spirited Amelia Lawson, the town's residents left an indelible mark on our hearts. Lee Horsley as Ethan Allen Cord. Born on May 15, 1955, in Muleshoe, Texas, Lee Horsley was destined for the spotlight. As the charismatic Ethan Allen Cord in Paradise, Horsley became a household name. Still alive and thriving, Lee Horsley has left an indelible mark on the Western genre. Biography. Raised on the Texan Plains, Horsley's journey to Hollywood wasn't a direct path. A former college football player turned actor, he brought a unique blend of rugged charm and sophistication to the screen. His piercing blue eyes and commanding presence made him a natural fit for the Old West. Career. Lee Horsley's career is a tapestry of westerns, crime dramas, and television series. From the adventures in Paradise, to roles in Matt Houston, and Gunsmoke. The Last Apache, Horsley's versatility as an actor shone through. Most successful roles. While Ethan Allen Cord defined his early success, Horsley's portrayal of Matt Houston in the detective series of the same name stands as one of his most successful roles. The show's popularity catapulted him into the spotlight, solidifying his status as a leading man. Reason for death. As of my last knowledge update in January 2023, Lee Horsley is alive and well. Sigrid Thornton as Amelia Lawson. Born on February 12, 1959, in Canberra, Australia, Sigrid Thornton emerged as one of Australia's most beloved actresses. As the spirited Amelia Lawson in Paradise, Thornton captivated audiences. Still in the prime of her career, Sigrid Thornton continues to enchant audiences worldwide. Biography. Thornton's journey into the world of acting began early, and her talent blossomed on both stage and screen. From her Australian roots, she transitioned to international acclaim with her diverse roles, displaying an ability to embody characters with depth and nuance. Career. Sigrid Thornton's career spans decades and continents. Beyond Paradise, she graced the screen in notable productions such as The Man from Snowy River, Sea Change, and Wentworth. Her ability to seamlessly move between genres earned her respect in the industry. Most successful roles. While Amelia Lawson remains a cherished character, Sigrid Thornton's portrayal of Jessica Harrison in the miniseries, All the Rivers Run, and her role as Laura Joy Gibson in Sea Change, are often regarded as some of her most successful performances. Reason for Death. As of my last knowledge update in January 2023, Sigrid Thornton is alive. Cameron Bancroft as Dr. William Collins. Born on May 17, 1967, in Winnipeg, Canada, Cameron Bancroft embarked on a journey that led him to the world of acting. As the compassionate Dr. William Collins in Paradise, Bancroft left an impression. Today, he continues to make his mark on the screen. Biography. Hailing from the Canadian prairies, Bancroft's early career showcased his talent in television and film. His boyish charm and earnest portrayals endeared him to audiences, setting the stage for a career marked by versatility. Career. Cameron Bancroft's career encompasses a range of genres, from drama to romance and beyond. Post-Paradise, he found success in projects like Beverly Hills, 90210, Codename, Wolverine, and The Hollywood Sign showcasing his adaptability as an actor. Most successful roles. While Dr. William Collins remains a memorable character, Bancroft's role as Joe Bradley in Codename, Wolverine, and his appearances in popular TV series like Beverly Hills, 90,210 feet contributed to his success. Reason for death. As of my last knowledge update in January 2023, Cameron Bancroft is alive. Del Berti as John Taylor. Born on January 17, 1921, in Pueblo, Colorado, Delberti graced the world with his presence. As the stoic John Taylor in Paradise, 
Berti became a quiet force on the screen. H. Biography. Raised amidst the beauty of Colorado, Berti's journey into acting was a unique one. With his Native American heritage, Ojibwe and Cree, he brought authenticity to his roles. A World War II veteran, Berti's path to Hollywood showcased his resilience and determination. Career. Del Berti's career as an actor and artist unfolded with grace. Beyond Paradise, his contributions to westerns like Little Big Man and Buffalo Bill and the Indians underscored his commitment to portraying Native American characters with depth and respect. Most successful roles. While John Taylor in Paradise left an impact, Berti's portrayal of Yellow Wolf in Little Big Man is often regarded as one of his most successful and memorable roles, showcasing his ability to bring complexity to his characters. Reason for Death Del Berti passed away on November 27, 1991. The cause of death was reported as heart failure. His legacy lives on through his artistic contributions to both the cinematic and Native American communities. Mitchell Lawrence as Will Sanders. Born on March 2, 1950, in Flushing, New York, Mitchell Lawrence entered the world with a flair for performance. As the steadfast Will Sanders in Paradise, Lawrence became a familiar face in households across America. Today, he continues to leave his mark on the entertainment industry. Biography. Lawrence's journey into acting began under the bright lights of New York City. A theater enthusiast turned screen actor, his charisma and versatility set the stage for a diverse career. Lawrence's dedication to his craft became a hallmark of his performances. Career. Beyond the trails of Paradise, Lawrence ventured into various television series and films. His roles in Santa Barbara, Guiding Light, and The Woman in Red highlighted his ability to navigate drama and comedy with equal finesse. Most successful roles. While Will Sanders endeared him to Western enthusiasts, Mitchell Lawrence's portrayal of Justin Dees in Guiding Light and his comedic turn in The Woman in Red are often cited as some of his most successful roles. Reason for Death. As of my last knowledge update in January 2023, Mitchell Lawrence is alive. Barry Jenner as Clay Mosby. Born on January 14, 1941, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Barry Jenner brought a touch of sophistication to the world. As the enigmatic Clay Mosby in Paradise, Jenner left an indelible mark. Biography. Jenner's journey from the East Coast to Hollywood was one of transformation. A talented theater actor, he seamlessly transitioned to television, captivating audiences with his nuanced performances. Jenner's refined presence added depth to every role he embraced. Career. Barry Jenner's career spanned decades, with notable appearances in series like, Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, and, Dallas. His ability to portray complex characters, often with an air of sophistication, earned him respect in the industry. Most successful roles. Clay Mosby in, Paradise, remains a pinnacle in Jenner's career. Additionally, his role as Admiral Ross in, Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, and his stint on, Family Matters, showcased the breadth of his talent. Reason for Death. Barry Jenner passed away on August 9, 2016. The cause of death was reported as acute myeloid leukemia. His legacy lives on through the memorable characters he brought to life on screen. And there you have it, the remarkable stories of the unsung heroes from, Paradise. From the stoicism of Del Berti's John Taylor to the versatility of Mitchell Lawrence's Will Sanders and the sophistication brought by Barry Jenner's Clay Mosby, these actors added depth to the Western tapestry. But our journey doesn't end here. We want to hear from you. Which character from, Paradise, resonated with you the most? Whose, then and now, transformation amazed you? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of this classic series together.